This Tuesday, graduate students at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology voted overwhelmingly to form a union for graduate student workers at the university. The MIT Graduate Students Union, which chose to affiliate with UE, the United Electrical, Radio, and Machine Workers of America, represents over 3,800 members, making it one of the largest labor union victories in recent years. MIT, a world-renowned scientific institution, derives much of its reputation from the research that graduate students do. Despite their immense contribution, many graduate students find themselves barely scraping by. Um, so I am a research assistant. Um, basically, I do things like, you know, run experiments, I write code. I basically produce the research that makes MIT, you know, the scientific innovator that you know, it's known to be. Many times, like, I'm in the lab from, like, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., basically. We were paid very little for the amount of work that we put in. 70% of that goes back to MIT. I pay around, like, 65% of my stipend on rent. This is something that's on my mind, basically, like, you know, almost any time I, like, make any purchase. MIT isn't exactly strapped for cash. Everywhere you look, there's new construction, buildings donated by the Koch brothers, even a new MIT museum being built for the fall, making it all the more perplexing that MIT's grad student workers are making poverty wages. Um, I think when we started organizing, MIT's endowment was around 17 or $18 billion. And actually, uh, over the course of the pandemic, uh, in the course of one year, it spiked up, uh, it increased by 50%. So it went from 18 billion up to $27 billion just in one year. And if MIT made $9 billion in, in one single year, they could definitely afford to support the people who, who made that money possible. Despite having the means to pay grad students a living wage and provide affordable health care and housing, the university chose instead to launch an all out anti union campaign. Something they did was like they held meetings with the faculty and they basically uh, spread anti-union talking points to the faculty and then encouraged the faculty to also express these opinions to their students. I, I remember also like right before the election, right before election day, that Sunday night, they sent a mass text to like basically all MIT students saying, you know, this is why you should vote no for the union. These attacks only affirmed the students' belief that MIT feared the power that the union could wield. Members of the new union wanted their victory to serve as inspiration to other graduate students and all workers across the country. I think grad students are doing the most, uh, are doing the important work to make their universities become successful. And we should realize that, and we should realize our power.